Good morning. Thank you for coming. I wouldn't have missed it. Very good to meet you. And to see Peter. He's doing fantastically well. He's flying off to South Africa tonight to do research on his next interminable novel. I thought I might take a holiday in Europe while he's away. Yes, right. Good idea. But I need a traveling companion. Interested. I'm a married man. I'm a married woman. What could be safer? Or better? Why me? I don't know exactly. I think it's because I'm very curious about you. You know, when you hear so much about a person and you finally meet them. It just came to me last night in my bar. In a split second. Well, I'm very flattered, I must say. But you notice neither of us said happily married. Why don't we do a trial run? Up off to politesse, hmm? See how we like each other. It was all very satisfactory. You're hired. Thank you. You can have no idea how grateful I am. You certainly do live in a very frugal way. Well, I haven't started buying furniture for it yet. It's an investment, really. I'll get it redecorated, don't worry. Well, it's very useful, at least. I'm glad you bought the bed first. I was thinking about a holiday. How about Capri? That'd be lovely. Only a few days, huh? Perfect. I'll call you tonight once I've seen Peter on the plane. Have you a telephone in this hovel? I have. Pimlico 4455. Mm. Even I can remember that. We'll have fun. I know we will. Thank you. You must stop saying thank you all the time. You're making me feel like a social worker. Sorry. I'll never leave Peter. I'm very glad to hear it. I phoned Alana to tell her I had to stay on in Europe. I had to travel a bit and meet new artists. Time spent with Gloria will be good for me. A change from Alana. And a change is as good as a rest, so they say. No. We're going to Madrid. Weather's better in Madrid. We're going to Barcelona. We're going to Madrid. Barcelona. Madrid. How? I didn't know the place meant quite so much to you. Barcelona it is. You'll be eternally grateful. However, any more violence like that, you would see me for dust. Don't be silly. We're having too much fun. To New York, Mr. Scalius. Oh, sorry, sorry. Is it any different than I'm the ex Mrs. Peter Scabius? Strangely, it's better now the guilt quotient's gone. You mean the guilt dividend is gone? I always thought it made it more exciting for you. It's you, I love fucking darling. Oh! Peter! How is Peter, by the way? Mm, extremely, effortlessly, endlessly successful. I'm glad to say. He's just sold his tenth novel to Paramount Studio. Lots and lots of lovely alimony. Money pouring in. All right, all right, all right. Message received loud and clear. Remove my worthless, impoverished self from your presence. Don't chip down, darling. It doesn't suit you. Anyway, I want you to come to a party tomorrow night. The Italian consulate. You can meet my new paramour. 
Giancarlo. Does he have a second name? Yes, and he's a count. Il Conte di Cotorto. He's very sweet, very intelligent. You'll like him. Mm, I'm going to enjoy enormously being a Contessa. I don't think I should meet your boyfriends, Gloria. I don't think it's right. Darling. All right, all right, I'll be there. Mm. I'll be there, but I'm going to bring my son, Leo. Mm. I want you to meet him. It'll be a night of meetings. Mm. Ah, it's just... oh, <laughs> so what are we celebrating, anyway? Life. So the tests were going wonderful. Mm. No, 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 uniformly bad. Metastasizing pancreatic carcinoma. It's racing through me. My spine, my lungs, my liver. Don't. Not a word of sympathy. I'm not going to hospital. I'm staying here. Nurses will come here, and they promise that I won't feel a twinge of pain. And we're going to have fun. We're going to live like kings. I've got enough money. We can indulge ourselves. No. No. You look so sad. Could manage a boff to pull it as I would for all time's sake. It's just I feel so frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> what cannot be avoided, my darling, must be accepted. Now, eat some more before I polish it off myself.